This bunch is swinging for the fences, and the ball gets there more often than you may think. You're in, you're in, you're in. That's the way you move the batter. That's the way we go. Mitchell Park hosts pickup softball games every Tuesday and Saturday throughout the year. These players range in age from 50 to fill in the blank. The oldest player out here today is 84. These ball players are living proof that age is only a number. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Since I was a little boy, that's how I was playing. Miguel Rodriguez, who is 73 years old, skips onto the softball field about four times every week. He started playing softball in 1963, and he is still known for his speed. He runs like the wind. He's a good hitter. You know, a great one of probably one of the better outfielders in Florida half century at our age. And, uh, you know, it's just it's one of the pieces that makes our team good. 74 year old Randy Razika is referring to the Chadwell supply team, a group of about 15 men in their 70s. They have won three major tournaments this year. We all play together. Everybody knows what everybody else does pretty much. You know, you know, everybody knows what our strong points and their weak points are. The weak points for Randy are his knees. I don't run that good, so. So he mainly sticks to the infield. I catch, sometimes I play third, sometimes I play first, sometimes I play middle infielder. Despite the aches and the pains, the hooting and the hollering is constant across the board. If you stick around here a while and listen to what goes on out here, it's, it's funny. I mean, do something silly batting, you know, well, that's it. You want to sell your bat for 10 bucks or something like that, you know, that's the kind of, kind of stuff you get out here. For these men, the element of fun mixed with some friendly competition is truly the name of this game. That's it. Come out and watch the games and uh, doesn't cost you anything. You'd get a big laugh out of it, if nothing else. <laughs> if you are interested in playing some softball, I posted the information in the article below. As always, if you are aware of any local sports story involving a particular player, coach, or team, I want to tell it. You can reach me at my email address, gshirley at wfla.com.